How you doing? My name is William Vasquez, Coach V, CoachVTennis.com, hashtag better tennis, fast and simple. All right, so today I'm gonna to give out the ultimate technique instruction. This is serve, slice, forehands, backhands. This is everything in some shape or form. Hold your wrist out like this, right? And without using the wrist, just turning the forearm down and over like this, where you're making a figure eight or an infinity sign with, no, 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 not like, it's not this. You keep the wrist laid back and you smear like, right. So if you watch this here, right? This is the forehand and backhand technique. And let me show you how that works. Anybody got a ball on them? All right. So, as the ball's coming to the contact zone, you'll be able to see this who, you'll be able to see this from there. As the ball comes, you know that circle C that they always talk about hitting? That's only half of the picture. The circle C doesn't start from here and over. It actually starts on the left-hand side of that figure eight. So what winds up happening is, come in front of me, Rosen, because it looks better from the front. Hey, go hit the ball back for me a little bit, mini tennis. Right, so here goes the figure eight, right? So watch the timing of it, how it starts from this side here. And you notice when I go here, the elbow comes up. And don't you see the pros going up with the elbow? And then they dip and hit. So this figure eight, right there, and you gotta time it in the figure eight, but keep also the same motion going. Now, this is also the backhand motion when you change the grip. This is how your forehand should feel, just like this. If you can keep the rhythm going, you can hit any shot you pretty much want. Now what happens is this grip changes. So this is the forehand version. When you switch to the backhand grip, it's the same thing, single and double, right? Rosa, come on this side. So you can come on this side of me. So now what happens is the figure eight with the backhand grip is not done forward like the forehand. The backhand grip is done sideways and backwards. So now it loops like this. And you keep the rhythm up and you gotta time it right because you gotta start from this side and unleash it. This side and unleash it. Do you see that? Do you see how that works? When you understand the timing of the figure eight, and you can do both sides, where it starts from this side for the forehand, it works with any grip. So when you see the players with the extreme grip, they're still doing the figure eight, it's just with a different grip, and they just time it differently, because the contact point is at a different spot. Now, this is the hard part that I haven't fully figured out yet. It's also part of the serve. So here goes the bottom part of the figure eight, see it and you'll see the pros when they rock they're starting to figure eight long before they turn it out so what has happened is the figure eight is going a different direction and this the timing of it is got to get so as your shoulder gets up you got to have the time <coughs> the timing of the figure eight but once you get that down it's easy to get the wrist snap and the pronation but part of the pronation is the supination when you turn it over like this with the forearm when you're doing that this is the ultimate biomechanic once you see it you cannot stop seeing it and you'll see all the pros do it in some shape or form every single pro forehand backhand double-handed backhand it's just two hands it's still the figure eight with the forearm bang right around you'll never stop seeing it i'm coach v this is your hashtag better tennis fast and simple find me at coachvtennis.com peace